What's up, guys? We're here today. This is Dehan. And I'm Tay. We're gonna have to make some enchiladas. Yeah, we're gonna be making enchiladas today. This is the tutorial, so you guys stick tight. Okay, you guys, we have the ground beef here. Um, you can use how much ever you want. I mean, it depends on if you're trying to make a lot or not. Um, but this is a pretty big one. How many pounds is that? Um, it was a little over, it's almost four pounds. Yeah. You got the stove on high? Um, yeah. It depends on what kind of stove you guys have, but I usually have it on like five or six. Okay. And then I use um, seasoned salt, the lottery kind, and then just any kind of pepper, doesn't matter. And there's not a certain amount that I put in. I just I make it so much that I just kind of know how much I'm putting in it. It depends on how much meat you have also. And this is a pretty big chunk of meat, so. It look good. And the enchilada sauce is already kind of, um, like the actual salty. sauce, it's kind of salty. So you, you don't really need a lot. I make this all the time, but, um, Dev has never tried to make it with me before. So this is our first time making it together. So, this is a pretty big chunk. It's going to take a little time for it to, um, for it to cook. And you just want to kind of... So while the meat is in the process of cooking, I like to cut my onions. Because I like the onion to cook in the meat. Um, so some people don't know how to actually cut an onion. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, you Probably actually just go cook. in lines. Like vertically and then go the opposite way so you're gonna have like little squares and then you're gonna go the other way across those lines you already made like a checkerboard yeah and this is just a regular white onion I know some people use yellow onion, so it doesn't really matter what onion you use. You guys see them already falling off. And then you're going to cut it this way for them to be regular. But I'm just going to cut it over the... Oops. I like a lot of onions, so everything I made, I always, I always put extra onion in them. But it's easier when they're smaller because they cook better and then you don't have to worry about big chunks of onions and you know your bites. Okay you guys, so this is how it's looking now. Um, I have it in the pot because our skillet is not deep enough. Um, and I also turned it up on eight because it was, it was cooking really, really slow. So it's on eight now. You just want to make sure there's no pink left, and that's how you know when it's done. He's actually really good at making nachos, and in the the beginning, the process is really the same. So. Cooking here, I'll be cooking it up. <laughs> cooking so, it yeah, up. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys, he actually can cook. It's actually really good. Alright. So. Once you ground the meat, what is, what, what's the next process? What do you do? When you ground the meat, you're basically gonna start, um, you're gonna start putting the meat in the tortillas. And I put the cheese in the tortillas, and then you'll have some on top also. So, so you, you don't actually put any cheese in your meat, unless you wanna do it like that. So but you you're gonna melt the cheese with the tortilla when the meat is done. So you fold them up like a, like a burrito or something? Right. Okay. Alright, come look at this meat. It's almost, it's almost ready. Yep. You want to kind of chop it up while you're going too. Alright you guys, it's almost done. There's a few more red pieces in there, or pink really. So you just want to keep chopping it so that the 
pieces are small so you don't have like big chunks in your enchilada. And there's all kind of enchiladas. There's chicken enchiladas, shredded chicken enchiladas. I just like the beef ones though. Yeah, the beef ones are good. Browning the meat, you could turn the stove down, you know, so you don't actually burn it. So give it about, I'll say like a minute or so, it should be ready to go. Okay, now I'm about to drain the, the meat. You need all the grease and the juice to be off so that your tortilla won't be soggy. So I already have the strainer in here. It is a lot of meat. And then you want to make sure you still shake it in the drainer because it's still, I mean, it's packed meat, so there's still juice in between. Okay, so Devin is about to put the meat in the tortillas. I'm going to show him how to do it. Okay, so you just put the tortilla in. We're going to cook it in a, a Pyrex glass pan. All right. So you just put, I like to put a lot of meat in it because you don't want it to be more tortilla than me like that's just you know what I mean just more bread than anything All right, let's get a bigger spoon. so that's a decent amount let me get a big spoon okay so he got a bigger spoon you guys that is a lot of Ooh. meat that's way too much yeah. meat in there because you gotta be able to fold it I'm gonna show you how to fold it okay so you put the cheese inside you gotta put the cheese in there so that's enough that's plenty of meat in there <laughs> <laughs> Show the people what's up. That's a lot of meat, you guys. Yeah. Wait, look at that. Watch me real quick. Watch. Can you please put the camera on me real quick? I gotta show them. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah, you just put a decent amount of cheese in there with the meat, and then, cause you gotta be able to fold it, you guys. You don't want to try to get the enchilada out once it's done cooking, and the meat is falling out. So let's see what he can do. Go ahead. Okay, so and you just start folding it? Yeah, just fold it like All right, come over top. one half. Come over top. Let me show you yeah, half and, and then. Spread it out. And, oh. and then kind of roll it a little bit. Bring it in. This is looking like Chipotle right now, you guys. <laughs> Ooh. See? Ooh. <laughs> That's what you do not want to happen. <laughs> the bread was too soft. The tortilla is too soft. Okay, let me try another one. Let's see. I do it for the people. Let's see. So, about one cup of beef, maybe? Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> one cup of beef, though? <laughs> I say a little more than that, and then that should be good. Okay. Just a little more, though. And then the right. cheese. The cheese, and we're using Kraft mild cheddar, by the way. Alrighty. And let's see if he can fold this one better. <laughs> oh, we can, oh, we got to tuck it in. Tuck it up. And you just want to roll it and then leave it like because this. it's going to cook. Just roll it and leave it down. Like don't even, you don't even have to pick it up. Okay. All right, so we got two. Uh, Those are pretty fast. probably make like four of them. Probably get four out of this. I think he's getting better as he's going down. <laughs> it, it, it comes with practice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Practice makes perfect. Remember guys, practice makes perfect. That's enough in that one. Just a little, boom. Just a little more. Put the cheese on there. I don't know who's teaching who. I feel like Devin's teaching me. I feel like he already knew how to make it. He was just not <laughs> wanting to cook. That's what it was. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All this time, y'all. 
We got five. Yeah. We not gonna make too many, you guys. I mean, it's only me, him, and Zaya. Yeah. And Zaya is only two, so she's not gonna be eating a whole one. Gonna, Especially how fat these are. We gonna make this stretch. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more cheese to this. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my folds. This doesn't look <laughs> too bad, but there's so much meat in this. It's ridiculous. Go on ahead. Let's show them what you. Ooh. So you actually gotta fold it as you go. But he's got so much meat in this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And that's how mine usually look. Now I guess they kind of look similar, but mine looks Even shorter. It's sagging a little bit. Okay, that was nice. I like that. So then I'm able to add more on the sides. But this one... If anybody eat this one, they're going to be slumped for the rest of the night. Look how <laughs> fat that one is. I, I eat that one. <laughs> Guys, I'll be the guinea pig of that one. How much meat does he have? Well, they go on the side. We make them a little smaller. Cause don't we, don't we put some type of sauce or something? We're gonna on put it? the enchilada sauce on top, yeah. Okay. And then, so how do how do you prepare? Like, how do you prep these? Like, when you eat them, you just, you just like, with a fork, or you just fork them out, or. Like when I'm getting out of the pan? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's easier just to use a spatula because either it's going to have cheese on the top, so they're going to be melted not really together, but mm -hmm. you're going to have to like dig them out in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're making one more or two more? I'm just going to make one more. We actually only got two more left, anyways, but I think this should be enough. Okay. We're going to have leftovers already. I look like I'm adding just about as much meat as you did. Just about. <laughs> all that complaining. Just about. <laughs> and then if you guys have some more like ground beef, as you see, we have a lot of ground beef left. You can uh, just store it. Yeah. Store it and use it for something else. Make, you know, nachos or your preference, whatever you want to make, whatever you're good at making. We'll show you guys another video on how to make nachos next. So. That might be yeah, what we make Yeah, because a lot next. of meat left, so we might just make some nachos with this. Yeah, so you make another video how to do that. So make sure you always clean your cans, guys. Never know what happened before they got to you, or you just never know. So just make sure you always clean your cans. And I only got one big one, but we do have smaller ones in there. So one, you can kind of figure out if you need, if you'll need another one when you start pouring the sauce on there. Okay, so you are literally going to just pour the sauce on top of the enchiladas. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure it gets on all of it. So this is just one big can. This is um, 19 ounces. Okay. So you don't even necessarily need this big can though. They have smaller cans. But this one's perfect it looks for this good. amount. And then this is when the cheese comes back in here. And as you can see, we love cheese. So you're just gonna put more cheese on top so that the sauce is gonna stay in the... And do they... Everything's do, gonna be melted together. Okay. And do they have to use the cheddar or can they use... Um, you can use any, really. They have like the taco kind, which is, I mean, the same thing. Like Kobe. Or you can do Kobe. Uh, yeah. You can use any cheese you want. Okay. I'm probably gonna just put the rest of this bag on here. You just want to make sure you get cheese on all of it. Man, that look good. You use the whole thing of cheese? Yes. Oh, okay. So you guys want to make sure you, if you guys even have cheese at home, make sure you just get a How big is bag. that bag? So this is a Say one pound. 16, yeah, 16 ounces. Yeah. So you're going to need a 16 ounce bag if you plan on making, you know, for a big family. We don't really have a big family, but we always like to have leftover so yeah. one pound of cheese and then this was the um, 19 ounces right all right so what's next we had a six count of tortillas we only used eight of them though so I mean we had a 10 count sorry mm. 
So then that's it, and then you just put it in the oven. You don't have to put foil, foil on the top. You just they just go in like this. All right. So what what should we should we preheat our oven, or how how do we go about doing that? Right. I think you should always preheat your oven before you make anything. So the oven is on 375, but I just put everything on 350. So it's but I turned it down. So now it's about to go to 350. Okay. So it's probably gonna be here in a second. Um, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. You literally just have to eye it. Cause it's done really. Like it's just, the meat is already done. The tortillas you can eat. So you're really just melting the cheese and that's it. See how it tastes there? She's tasting her vegetables. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. It's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. All that cheese in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's definitely good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the bomb. <laughs> he didn't do too bad. He's got his all messy on his plate. <laughs> yeah, this is, let me try one more. Yeah. Alright guys, that was the tutorial on how to make enchiladas. It was a tongue twister. <laughs> but if you guys like this tutorial, be sure to comment below. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll holler at you guys later. See ya. Oh, this you crazy mother.